Hey, let me show you how I do my PCB designs at home. I'm using um, DipTrace. It's a free tool for personal use uh, up to a certain amount of pins. I have never reached this amount yet uh, for my basic designs at home. And uh, you can do a toner transfer uh, method with it uh, and printing. And it's a um, quite nice tool and it's really easy to use. I want a bread pot uh, footprint, two rows where all, all pins are connected. Um, even though um, here these pins are shown not connected, but um, they are necessary to use it with um, the CC debugger from Texas Instruments to uh, use the complete capabilities of the system on chip. When we start the trace, all libraries are listed here. The libraries have all the footprints of the components and we like to add a new library where we can put all our module footprints. We can just go to tools and open the pattern editor. The pattern editor um, creates a empty library which we can then store like um, multi modules mm, no hint and just use the name here I have already modules there but uh, we can just tell uh, modules too And then um, this library will be stored. We have a default first uh, pattern here, but we can also just add new pattern to the library and then um, edit all the patterns. You can then delete also a um, pattern you don't use or don't need. So this is the view and um, we have to take a look at the module um, from the sheet. So this is the view of the module and we have uh, 13 pins on the side each and 8 pins on the bottom. But I like to design it sideways. Um, the pin pitch is 1.5 millimeters and the width is uh, like a square, square, a square millimeter. You go to pattern, pad properties and then you can specify how the pads for the pins are look, look like. You can use some kind of uh, template that you predefined but I just do it straight. Um, yeah, if you are using a true hole um, device, then uh, you will pick their true hole. It will just in place a hole in this uh, point of the pad. But we have a surface mount device, and the sh shape is rectangular. You can pick something else there. Um, what do we? take for width is like one millimeter we have seen this and uh, can show it again um, yeah width is a one millimeter and length is 0.9 but we can just take yes yeah, something something like twice twice the length because um, our pad um, has to be bigger like this. So this is the center point of the pin and the pad uh, will go just below this, this pin and in, over to this side. So we have a um, big enough pad where we can solder it uh, nicely. So we just let's keep this so 1.75 millimeters here. 
after we have set up the pads we can just use this this pattern properties here to give our pattern a name and we can just define okay we want some lines here this use are quite useful if you have a default um, some kind of default um, shape but we don't have there is no u available here or let's say lines we will try to define our uh, two rows that we have this is like 13 pads times 2 26 pads then the pad spacing is one 1.5 millimeters and the line spacing is 13 so we have then done our two rows but there is this one row missing how we can define this sort of free row here between I will just uh, take a look at the measurements there so this is from on one side it's almost 1.3 millimeters on the other side it's it's not the same but it's close enough we can just assume this is the the spacing here is the same and yes yeah, somehow center uh, center this pins between what's this distance it's almost 1.8 it doesn't really matter if we push it uh, a slight bit uh, more or less because uh, the pad is uh, long enough so we just take 1.8 and here's 1.3 millimeters let's check the grid the grid can be set up here grid size and it's already 0.1 millimeters but we have a slight problem here since this is uh, okay here it is uh, you can zoom in using control and uh, mouse wheel like I did and then you can see okay the pads are exactly placed here and we have just to measure we, we will just draw the row right now when we go to our um, placement setup we can say okay we want 1.5 millimeters pad to pad spacing both directions doesn't matter and then we can use easily this um, row drawing tool to to draw our missing eight pins here now if this is a straight line I have to watch take a look at this measurements okay I'll revert this and I will just start at minus 11 millimeters x and keep this minus 11 millimeters okay so this is a straight light that line down and um, of the pads and we have just to pick them and shift them so they are uh, placed correctly you can see okay this is uh, we need what was the value check it again uh, 1.8 millimeters shift here so this is at placed at minus 9 
then 1.8 to the left is then a bit too far so this is yeah eyeball it it's good enough let's check let's make it centered oops always move the complete row so we have I think we need <coughs> we need uh, even a shorter grid there so we just adjust the grid size to 0.05 millimeters pick the complete row and I use this center line yeah okay so this is now centered and this looks quite nice so we don't need an um, outline here we could just draw something on the top silk for my toner transfer all I need are the pads so this module is um, ready now and I just save the library again and then I just quit so how do we add this library to our list here um, we can just go to library setup and we can add a library to to all the libraries we have to select from then I have uh, modules 2 there which I cr just created and okay this is my modules 2 library I call this the same name as my old modules 2 which I did already and then I can just use this arrows here to add this to my list I close this now and now my list here is updated I can just pick this module footprint right now and yeah, place it wherever I want